Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom in the Bed Brigade. Hope everybody's having a good week, a good Monday. This is take two. <laughs> you know how I roll, right? <laughs> in the middle of recording a video, somebody walks in the front door. So I had to re-record and then of course, before I could start that, my stomach decided to twist and do knots and send me to the bathroom. It happens. Uh, anyway, so we did a thing. <laughs> we reached 500, 507 last time I looked. We hadn't quite got our community tab up because as a lot of folks know, you had to have over 500 for over a week before you get the community tab. So uh, as far as the 500 subscriber giveaway, I'll be drawing for that as soon as the community tab appears on my YouTube channel page that I can see. So I'm giving a little more time. So if you haven't had chance, if you're new and you haven't had chance to go and locate the 500 subscriber giveaway video and uh, put a comment on there, then uh, you have a little time between now and I think Thursday or Friday went, cause there was Thursday night was the night that I finally reached 500 last Thursday night. And so, um, you have a little more, little more time. I will go ahead and link that, uh, the 500 subscriber giveaway video in the description of this video, along with a whole bunch of other stuff I'm fixing to mention. Um, so that y'all can go put your comment on it if you hadn't already. Cause I know I have a few new people and maybe those new people hadn't had a chance to locate it. Cause it was a couple of months ago, about almost three months ago, actually because it took a little while because um, I'm not a channel who constantly begs people to subscribe so therefore it took a little longer so I, I mean I know some people just need reminding to subscribe but I, I just I'm you know I didn't start off my channel trying to get monetized or and it's not something I'm doing for a living um, it's more like you know how to describe what my channel is for uh, if you to hear my uh, mental health professional, it's my therapy and y'all are my therapist. <laughs> but no, uh, well, it's of course, I love to do in the daily devotionals because uh, uh, my faith in God and my Christianity is what keeps me going. And I enjoy sharing that with others. And um and if I can anything and you know, if God can use me to help anybody else, that's wonderful. And so I do it for that reason and, um, not to be, not to glorify me, but to glorify God, not, you know, and if he can use me to do that, that's great. Um, and of course to share my crochet journey with you all. And eventually I'll be painting again. Uh, I, do, I don't know how many of you all know it's in my, some of my earlier videos from last year. Where I showed some of my paintings. I do paint with acrylics on canvas. Um, so I will be hopefully in the next month or two uh, pulling that back out and getting back at my paintings. I've been painting since 2015. I'm self-taught. I learned a lot by watching of course YouTube videos and trial and error. <laughs> lots and lots of error. <laughs> but I'm, I'm fairly decent at it. I wouldn't say that I'm a pro or anything but I've made some pretty paintings. Uh, lots of people like them i've sold a couple um but uh i love my crochet too I lo I, i've really been enjoying that i had to kind of chill out and work on some smaller things the last few days because we've had quite the heat wave here in louisiana so i've kind of had to sideline some of my bigger projects because uh, most of the crochet projects and you all know that you work on it with it draped across you and i live in a metal box currently also known as a mobile home and draping an acrylic project or any other project across you while you're crocheting on it gets hot and I'm already hot natured I'm a woman in my late 40s and considerably overweight and I get warm really quickly and I'm in a metal box did I say <laughs> so I've been working on granny squares and cotton to make a bag and I will show you that in a, in a few but I did not get to 500 by myself so Cynthia from joyful creations 
I think. I will find that link and link it in the description as well. She was gracious enough to have me go live with her last Thursday and I had a blast. I enjoyed speaking with her and a lot of the others that were in the live and chat and um, forgive me, my mind just went, Lisa, Lisa, um, the, Lisa from Australia, <laughs> that was a blast. And she is adorable, and I enjoy talking to her as well. And that was fun. And I uh, always wanted to go to Australia. But anyhow, so that was fun. And um, But I wanted to do some shout outs, and I wanted to do some thank yous of women and channels that have really helped me get to 500 and help uh, keep me doing what I'm doing. Because if it hadn't been for the inspiration and the motivation of friends um, and people that care, that obviously care about me and what I'm doing, um, I wouldn't still be doing this. I would have given up months ago if it hadn't been for Cindy at Pups Crochet and her constantly touting my, my channel, uh, and telling people to join my channel. Um, I really appreciate her, um, so much. You, you have no idea. I love that woman. She's crazy, but I love her. <laughs> She's my kind of crazy. <laughs> She, she's wonderful. She's wonderful. If you haven't joined Cindy over at Pups and Crochet, you should. She's as much of a dog lover as I am. And uh, that means everything. And also, uh, Charity at Frog Crochet. She's very much a Christian and she reads Bible verses and does daily devotionals as well. And uh, I just, I think the world of her, I have a lot of respect for her. She's very much a good Christian woman. Two beautiful children. She, she does wonderful things. She's even dying some yarn now. So that's, ooh, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't, I have carpal tunnel in my arms and hands and arthritis. I just don't think I have the strength in my arms to do the dying of the yarn. So kudos to her for doing that. And I'm sure it will be beautiful, whatever she creates in as far as her dying of the yarn. Um, I think that's wonderful. Um, uh, Melanie Titus, um, I love you to pieces. She's such a sweet, sweet woman. And she's giving me a shout out. And she just started her own channel. Um, Mel, another Melanie. It's, mm, I didn't write it down. Forgive me, I didn't write that one down. Sense and Stitches. You know who you are, you gorgeous woman, you. She is such a sweet, sweet woman. And I love her to pieces as well. Hook, hook and Amy at Hooked on Wishing Crochet. I love Amy. She's so cute and adorable. And she sent me my little fox hook hook case. And my friend from Instagram, Tara Lynn. I just love her to pieces. They're just so I love my Todd back there, my little mascot. <laughs> love it dearly. And I have a little bit of fangirl going on. I, I do I do also want to thank Connie at Just Another Stitch. She, of course, you know, I just scribbled, scribbled some stuff on paper that I can barely read myself. But uh, Connie at Just Another Stitch, she definitely helped me get started. And uh, I speak to her quite often and love her dearly. And uh, Crystal at uh, Crystal the Yarny Chicken and Crazy Cat Woman Lady. <laughs> She's a sweetheart, and she's helped me a lot. She has a lot of good tips, y'all. And uh, she's she's got a good heart. She's very talented. Um, I kind of think I, I, I also the one that does a lot of uh, a lot of uh, good shout outs to smaller channel is Jane at uh, Scraptastic Yarns. She does a lot of shout outs to smaller channels, and I know she's when I first started out, she shouted me out, and I really appreciate that, Jane. And I want to shout out another, uh, some little smaller, um, somebody that's uh, come on my radar that I like, that I found through the uh, fairies. And I, uh, forgive me, I can't think of her name right offhand. But Armchair Chef, she's a, she works for the Postal Service. And I've uh, found her through the uh, Chris, Christmas in July fairies. And uh, I really am enjoying her videos. Uh, she... Um, she had gotten some snacks from like the Dollar Tree or somewhere, but they're healthy snacks. And so she, I, 
you know, we all see those snacks and we're like, I really should be eating healthier, but do they taste good? You know, so what she did is she bought a, a variety of those snacks and then she set them out in front of her and then she put put some on plates and then she had little cups. So she got some 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 of fizzy water, flavored fizzy water in, in cans and she gave a little taste test of these snacks that you readily available at Dollar Tree and what have you. And just let you know if they would be, you know, worth, worth buying. And uh, I thought that was awesome. I really, I, I enjoyed that. And she bought some kits from Hershner's and, and, and told you about those. And, uh, you know, she's just really helpful and I love her personality. She's really outgoing and it took, for me, uh, for me to actually really get into a channel, I have to like the person, not just the content, but the person. And if I, if I get bored, if, 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 the, if they're boring and they don't have a lot to say, I, I, I'd click off. If, if, you're, if you're boring, you're not funny, you're, you, know, you don't have much interesting stuff to say, I'm just going to click off. I mean, that's why I constantly try to make people laugh. I try to, you know, tell you something that I think might be interesting to you or, you know, might make you laugh. You know, I try to keep it interesting, you know. So, <laughs> yeah. So, because I know that I'll click off somebody's video. If they get boring, I'm clicking off. <laughs> I'm not watching that video because guess what? I'm bored. <laughs> Same thing with lives. Uh, if I get bored, I'm clicking off. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to stay in. Um, and then sometimes it's just my perception of what's boring and what's not boring. Because what's boring to me may not be boring to you. You know, I probably have a little bit of ADD. Both my kids had it, so you know, they're the branches. I'm the tree. <laughs> so I probably do. Let me see who else is on my list. Oh, Garden Yarns. I don't know. She's she's her name's Christine. She's in Canada. Uh, she just has a small little channel. But she usually releases a video once a week, and she talks about what she's made, uh, what she's making. She does knitting and crochet. She's a cute little woman, and she she makes the most beautiful things. She does some um, amigurumi. And, uh, but she makes bags, she makes hats, she makes scarves, she makes blankets. She, she makes a variety of things. And, uh, she just has the sweetest, most laid back disposition. I just love her. So check her out, Garden Yarns. Her name's Christine. And, uh, I just, I love her to pieces. So, uh, think about that. I'm going to link some of these in the, uh, in the, in the description box and in, in below. Also, one of the most un underrated but entertaining people is Yarn Barf. Yeah, I said it. And that's Christy. She is adorable. I love her. Uh, I'm just going to call her Christy. I'm not going to call her by her channel name because I just think that's rude. Because <laughs> none of us actually like the actual thing, Yarn Barf. And if you do, then good on you. Because <laughs> every time it, my yarn does that yarn barf thing, I get disgusted. <laughs> I will untangle it if I want to use that yarn enough. Otherwise, I'm if, if I'm in a hurry or if I'm being impatient, I might cut that stuff out and tie it back together. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I call it surgery. <laughs> Let me do some surgery. <laughs> it just depends on what kind of mood I'm in. I may do surgery and cut that stuff out altogether and not untangle it. But it just depends on the yarn. How much I paid for the yarn. How much of that yarn I own. <laughs> but yeah. So. Let me look here. Who else I got here. I think that about covers who I can remember that I wanted to talk about. And I got some non-yarny channels. Y'all didn't know I watched other channels, did you? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> I don't watch just yarny channels. You, I can get real bored <laughs> if that's all I watched. Ugh. I do watch some other regular TV shows. I watch stuff on BritBox, and I watch stuff on Acorn TV, and uh, Hulu, and Prime, of course. You know, I don't watch as much on Netflix anymore. Um, 
I, I just don't. I don't watch that much on Netflix. But the non-Yarny channels I watch, I I know this is going to take some of y'all by surprise since I'm a Christian and all that, but I like slot machine channels. <laughs> I don't want to go play slot machines, but I don't mind watching other people play because it's not my money. <laughs> and, I, and, and I get disgusted when they lose their butts, <laughs> but I get excited when they win. The main one that I like to watch is Brian Christopher. And uh, and the thing is, is I would probably watch Brian Christopher if he was playing putt-putt golf. It wouldn't matter to me what he was doing. I would still watch his channel. And it's because of his personality. He is so animated. And so, <sighs> he gets so excited. <laughs> I mean, he's not, he's not like a high roller, like, not like in the, in the, in some sense of the word. Now, the second one I'm going to tell you about, she's a high roller, but Brian Christopher's not really, not entirely a high roller, but, you know, it's just, he, he, and he does stuff for charity. He, um, he got an award from the Harvey Milk, I think is, is the award he got because him and his husband live a normal a life they don't um, they normalized being in part of the L LGBTQ um, community I mean because unless he told you you probably wouldn't know and because he, he doesn't you know I don't know how else, he normalizes it and he doesn't you know I don't know how else to say it but he's just just a really really good human being like one night he did a live where all of his uh winnings went to the uh ukrainian refugees and then he just did a a video the a live the other day and all his super chats and everything went to this uh camp camp champ for children that have breathing difficulties and have uh traits and you know that they'd have this special camp where kids with these severe disabilities can go and their parents get a week off and the children get to go and and and, and uh have medical staff there to take care of them and and show them a good time and he him and his husband were going to go and and be staff and, and be you know caregivers and and um camp counselors and stuff like that and go do that and he so he was not only devoting his time but his money to you know to these children and um i don't know about you but the, i like those kind of people people that put the, put their money where their mouth is you know what i'm saying so he not only gives of his money but he gives of his time and uh this is a person that has multiple uh money streams i mean he he doesn't just sit in front of a camera and gamble he has he they're about he's about to have his own slot machine name his name's fixed to be on his own slot machine he has whole sections in certain casinos uh there's like two or three different casinos that have brian christopher sections you know um casinos just roll out the red carpet for him and have uh you know group pools and um uh, meet and greets for him and all this stuff that you know that he goes and does and you know and he still make carved out a whole week to go do this with these children so yeah I, I i i like him a lot and then there's lady luck hq her and her husband that she calls lovey dovey she is cute as a button and they're high rollers make no mistake when they when they're hitting the bet button they're betting anywhere from 25 to 150 a spin yeah uh it's not my money <laughs> i don't you know at first you're kind of like oh my god they're betting so much money but it's not your money <laughs> what do you care it's it, and it's so fun to see her win because she gets so excited and it, it is just positivity you know and then she'll if she if the machine takes some running she, you dirty dog <laughs> And she mimics the machine noise. Uh, it, it's it's just a it, you know it's not for everybody, 
but I like her. I think she's adorable. I think her husband's adorable. They're cute, and I like to watch them. It's, it's entertaining to me. Um, I also like fishing channels. Um, there's one, um, there's a young Christian man. He's a, he's a, a, a veteran. He's a, a military veteran. His channel's called Bama Saltwater. Don't ask me his first name. I don't, I, he never says, and I, I, I hadn't looked it up. But his channel's name is Bama Saltwater. He lives on the coast of Alabama. Um, he has a boat, and oftentimes you'll see him fishing with his mom. And she'll be in nothing but pink and, gr pink and gray. And she has pink fishing gear. And half the time she outfishes him. <laughs> and I love that. And he always thanks the good Lord above for, for everything he does for him. And I, and I, that touches my heart. And that's probably one of the chief reasons why I like him. But he's very informative. He's very informative about the fish, about the type of fish he's looking for. And he tells you about different things involving the fish and what, what catches what fish and, you know, um, the species of fish he's looking at and, you know, when he's, when he's, you know, cleaning the fish, how to go about cleaning the fish and, you know, and then he does what they call catching cooks and he'll cook it and he'll tell you why he's cooking it this way. And of course, then he eats it in front of you, <laughs> but that's okay. That's part of it, I suppose. But, uh, and then there's Angler Up with Brant and I like Brant. He's a, he's a straight shooter. He, t he says it straight. He's in Pensacola, Florida. And uh, me and the boys have been been to Pensacola. We went there in 2013 and spent a few days. And it's beautiful down there. And so Brant just fishes mainly on the beach. And uh, he takes you to the beach with him most of the time. Sometimes he takes you on a boat with his friend Ron. And um, he goes and just fishes. And he talk, tells you what he's fishing with. He tells you how to catch certain fish. Uh, sometimes he does other kind of fishing. Sometimes he does hunting. I don't watch the hunting videos because I'm not going to watch him kill Bambi. Just not going to do it. <laughs> but I like Angler up with Brant. I've been following him probably a couple years now. Um, I like him very much. And then there's um, Bama Beach, uh, Beach Bum. And he's a short little guy named Matthew, but he goes by Beach Bum. And he does the same thing Brant does. He's got a cute little family, a little girl, little cute little old girl. Um, got a wife named Courtney. They're just a cute little family. He goes and fishes, and he's very informative and tells you, you know, how to, how to fish the uh, beach and, you know, and how, how to go about doing certain things. And um, if you wanted to learn how to do, do it, they're probably good to teach you how to do it. Um, I just like to watch them catch fish. And the reason why I watch these guys is because they are what I call consider ethical fishermen. They they don't always keep what they fish, what they catch. And when they don't keep what they fish for, they make sure that fish is, is uh, gets a good recovery and goes back into the water and is, is alive and okay. So they don't always keep what they catch. Um, you know, and, the, and they're just what, what I consider ethical fishermen. And so it is uh, about sport mostly to them. And it is fun to catch. If you've never been fishing and you've never wrestled with a fish on the end of your line, you, it, it's, it's fun. It's fun to wrestle with something and then to win. <laughs> you know, uh, me and my boys love to fish. So, um, of course, we like to keep what we catch if we catch something worth keeping. Uh, but we have put things back that were too small. Or, you know, not the, you know, just not worth eating. You know, there have been a few times they were like, no, I'll put that back. <laughs> so, but, you know, I like ethical fishermen. Uh, there's also another veteran um, fisherman named Bearded Brad. He's also a, uh, a war veteran and a family man. And uh, he's tall. You can't miss him. He has a big, long beard. Uh, hence the name Bearded Brad. And he's in the same area as uh, Angler Up with Brant and um, B Bama Beach Bum. They actually uh, will fish with each other. They're, they're, you know, friends and they will fish with each other. 
So, um, those are the non yarny channels I watch. I watch some fishing channels. I watch some, um, <laughs> some slot machine channels. I also watch one from China called, it has like a Chinese symbol and then Ying. And, um, that's a very different channel. Um, she goes out to the beach and she lives in China, but she must live in a coastal area. Pardon me. Get a little dry. Mountain Dew. Hey, Melissa. <laughs> mm. But she lives in a coastal area in China. I'm not sure where. But she has a, she has like a million subscribers, something like that. Uh, two, two million, I think. But she goes out and she finds all kinds of different sea, sea creatures. She, she finds lobster. She finds crawfish. She finds clams, oysters, uh, sea snails she finds a little bit of everything she uh she finds the ones that have pearls in them and a lot of times she'll take and she'll she'll they'll, she'll take she'll go out in her little her little bucket and her in her rain boots you know and she'll go out and she'll go to the, the she'll go walk around the beach and she'll find all this stuff and then she'll go back to her home and she'll put, open up the the uh clams and stuff and then you'll see her um harvest these um these pearls and I've seen her pull out pearls this big and they're not all white there's some turquoise I've seen some of them that were gold color some of them that was red some of this orange uh, there was a purple one I mean wow and they're huge and she got one time she got this one um, this this um, uh, if I can remember what it's called squid it was a big squid it was a big squid and she, when she cut that thing open, it was full of pearls. It was huge. Full of pearls. I bet that was this many pearls in that thing. And I'm just fascinated by this. I don't know why. I can't understand the thing she says. But I, but it's, but she, she gets so animated with it. Whoa. I can understand her say that. She says, whoa. <laughs> she says that a lot. When she gets excited, you'll hear her say, go, whoa. <laughs> Because she gets so excited, and then there's these little creatures in between the rocks on the shore, and, and that if she touches them, they they close up, and she'll poke them with her finger, and then they'll close up and shrink back up, and she laughs. <laughs> she just and her, all her videos are fairly short; they're under like 15 minutes at the most, and so it's just so fun to watch her. And some of them I'll actually go back and rewatch just because I like watching them. But uh, she posts almost every day. But uh, I, I recommend that one. Just just as if you if you need a change in mood, if you need to watch something that is uh, a change in scenery, a change in to change your mood. But uh, these are just you know I do let me, okay, and I I'm not gonna apologize for the length of this video because this is a catch up because I haven't posted anything personal uh, in several days other than my devotionals. But uh, now I'm gonna change gears. We're gonna talk about what I've been crocheting all weekend. Um, and move some stuff out of the way, out of this bag. But I've been working on these, my little granny squares. I made eight of these, and I'm working on with the, putting this little. Um, I put two rows of single crochet around the border, and this is. Uh, big twist cotton and this color is doo -doo -doo, water lilies and this is the 85% um, cotton 15% polyester and uh, big twist uh, it's 96 yards but this believe it or not I think I got like two or three uh, granny squares out of this I, I got several several gr small granny squares out of this but um I've, i made eight so far yeah and let's see let me get all these out of here so i hadn't put borders on all of them yet i gotta get them on there and i made uh i made um uh creative grandma in the last few days has put out a tutorial 
for um, like a kitchen set and one of the uh, tutorials was for a washcloth this one and so I did her tutorial and made this washcloth with this yarn and I actually I think it came out pretty good I don't know if I could show you all that but yeah I didn't put a border on it because I didn't want a border but um, pardon me <coughs> Ugh, they mowed my grass earlier and the stuff floating in the air got me but uh, anyway but this is really cute it was really easy to work up once I got the <laughs> once I got the uh, hang of this the um, the pattern it was not like you know, it was no time at all and I had it done so um, done these and um, I did eight of these and these are just your typical uh, granny square nothing fancy and then I'm putting the borders this is what they look like with the little borders on and I'm just doing um, two two rows of single crochet around them and then I'm gonna join them together and make a bag of some sort don't ask me what yet I don't know yet I'm winging it <laughs> I do that often I've looked at a lot of we'll kind of scan, scan through some videos of um, bags but I didn't find anything that really appealed to me so I will figure it out I've got eight of these I figured four uh, squares on each side of the bag and then I will figure out the rest so I don't have to have it a big size I figured I would figure it out I do have some purse straps and uh, I have some chain purse straps that I ordered a long time ago that are still in the box somewhere in, in my room and I have some latches uh, that I ordered a long time ago thinking I was gonna make some bags so I have all the stuff I just you know never followed through until now but seeing is that all my other projects are very hot to work on in this tin box that I live in I live in this mobile home and it's it's we're getting into triple digit heat and so I need I needed something cooler to work on that didn't require me to hang hanging across me but before I you know started working on these I did get make some progress with my granny square top so this is where I'm at on that I just started the second skein of the uh, bamboo joy of uh, premier bamboo joy so i am just now into the second skein and i'm trying to go back far enough i can show y'all so i think i think just two two skeins of it is going to be enough to do the top so when i get cranked when i get back on this it shouldn't take me long uh to do the the this panel this square and then i'll do the other square but i'm thinking four skeins to do the top should be enough um, seeing is that I got that far with just one skein I barely am into the uh, second skein and this is how big I am so far this is how big the square is so far so uh, that's where I am with whips I haven't worked any on the rainbow stuff rainbow um, shawls I haven't worked any on those um, I've been dealing with a painful knee situation but that seems to be getting better uh, I've been putting some ointment on that uh, the um, orthopedic doctor gave me. Some ointment, some uh, some sort of ointment that um, some prescription ointment that the orthopedic doctor gave me, and I've been putting that on my foot and my knee, and that seems to be helping quite a bit. Today has been the best day I've had with my knee, and it's been feeling really bad for about a week now. So. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up because, um, well, my stomach's acting ugly again. And, uh, but, uh, anyway, I hope y'all enjoy this video. I hope, uh, yeah, I hope those of the, you that uh, I've mentioned know that your support has meant so much to me. And I really appreciate it, and I love y'all. And, um, those of you that are new to my channel, I hope y'all like this sort of content. And, um, maybe you found something in the list of channels that I'm going to link in the description box and uh, maybe um, 
if you like if you are new to my channel and you like this sort of content where i shout out and give love to everybody <laughs> maybe you'll stick around <laughs> there will be more to come i look forward to uh, doing new and exciting things in the near future um we're gonna have a good year i think this year has started out with a bang got definitely some good things have happened so far this year uh i'm, I'm gonna focus only on the positive like i always have on this channel uh that's what my channel is about is about positivity supporting supporting each other and praying for each other as usual uh that's you know that's what i want to focus on and um uh, you know try to laugh every now and then but uh, y'all take care uh remember to adopt don't shop your best friends waiting for you at the shelter or in the rescue um always get a better better deal at the uh, rescue or the shelter because your animal's been pre-vetted uh when you buy them from the pet store you don't know where you're getting them from you don't know if you're getting a healthy animal or a sick animal and then nine times out of ten you have to take them to the vet and you have to get them fixed you have to get them vaccinated at least when you get them from a shelter or a rescue they've always already done all that so all you're doing is paying a fee uh, which is usually cheaper than you would uh spend at the vet anyway so you're get, definitely getting a better deal not to mention you're getting a pet that is uh, very grateful for have been rescued so um uh, I always think that that's a better deal. I, my two rescue dogs are very loyal and loving, and um, they're they are very spoiled, of course. But they're very good dogs, and I, I wouldn't trade them for nothing. And of course, if you prefer purebred dogs, if you search Google for a rescue for that particular breed, I'm sure you will find a rescue for that breed of dog, and you can find what you're looking for in a rescue as well. So food for thought. Thank you for watching. Love you all. Have a good night and a good week. See you soon. Bye.